Okay, slow speeds on your NBN internet. There are some things you can do about that. I have um, just done the old spend 50 minutes to an hour on the phone um, to the internet ISP. ISP is Internet Service Provider. Um, but if you've got slow speeds, there are some things you can do yourself. Um, and one of them is to hit the uh, reset button, um, both on your modem and also uh, on your NBN box, uh, wherever that is, where the um, internet comes into your house. Now, the first thing you need to do if you want to get this to actually find out how quick your internet is, um, if you go, there's a website here, if you have a look at this web address, it's uh, speedtest.net, don't know about the rest of it, but um, what it will do is it will give a, um, a result, let's get that reflection off there, in um, speed. I'll hit this um, again button now and I'll do a live speed test. And uh, what it actually does, it'll connect to a local, um, here at the moment it's connecting to Optus, and there's a five millisecond ping, that's good, that's the time it's taken to establish that initial connection. Now I'm just on a slow NBN here, it's 12 is supposed to be the download speed, and um, one is the upload speed. So it's not operating at, at um, 12 by any stretch, at 10.8, but that's that's not far off it. Um, I have been doing this test and I was getting a result of three uh, megabits per second instead of 10, three and 2.5 and four. I was getting absolutely terrible. And the upload speed there is supposed to be one, it's 0.95, so that's not too bad. Now, I have just had this uh, reset um, you have to actually call the ISP to get them to do a reset. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about on this video is what you can do at home yourself. Now resetting the modem is not just pressing the on off button on your modem. It's a little bit more than that. You're going to need something small and sharp. I've got a little nail here. Um, if you turn your modem around, just flick it upside down for ease of use here. You've got your power button, power cord here and you've got an on-off button here to turn it off and on. But there's also a little reset button. Um, and you can give that a little press. Just poke the nail in and click, give it a press and that'll reset that modem. Which is just going to take everything back to um, a fresh start for you. It is also good um, to unplug this cord. Don't lose track of where it's plugged in. It needs to be in the wide area network. That's WAN. Sorry that it's upside down. That little bulge there is actually got a clip under it. You clip that and then you can pull the cable out or put it back in again. You'll hear it click when it's properly in. And it's good um, just to pull it in and out just to make sure there's no corrosion on the connection or anything like that. So that's in here on the modem side. You see the internet light is now red. That means there's no connection to the internet. That's because I unplugged it and plugged it back in again. So it's gonna, there it goes, it's gone green again now, it's gonna establish. So if you've got a modem, um, your power light, that's self-explanatory. DSL, let's see if you're connecting through a phone line. This is not connecting through a phone line. This shows you've got an internet connection. The Wi-Fi shows you're actually broadcasting out so you can connect. Um, LAN, that's local area network. One, two, three, they are the ports on the back here. LAN, one, two, three. So you can plug computers directly in. Uh, but these days, the Wi-Fi connection is just as quick as plugging in, so there's no advantage. And WAN, that's wide area network. That is the one that comes in. That's the red one there, W-A-N. Um, and that is your connection from the, in this case, the broadband box coming here to the modem. So, okay, stage two is that where your broadband actually comes to your house. Sometimes this will be on a waterproof box on the side of the house. In my case, it's in the garage. This what I'm looking at here is actually the battery backup. It has a supply um, so that it's never without power. So if the power goes down, uh, you can connect phones through this as well so the phone stays up. So that is actually the battery backup box. That's not the one we're looking for. Up here, I've got a shelf between my two, but normally they'll just be close together, is the um, box that we're after. You'll see down here it has similar, it says the Uni D1, Uni D2, Uni D3, Uni D4. The output out of this for the internet is Uni D1. And uh, you can see your lights, you can check here again. Power, optical, that's the connection coming in. It's actually an optical connection here. And Uni D1 shows that there's traffic, um, internet traffic flowing in and out 
over that port. Now, this also has a reset button on it. Not easy to get at. And I don't know if I can get that without unplugging it. Let's take the phone a bit closer. This has a reset button up under here. You can see the ports um, one and two, and there, reset. It's underneath. It's right beside the Uni D1 where your connection plugs in. Um, and again, same thing, nail, sharp point, and hit that reset, and you can reset this connection. That's more than turning the power off and on, which, because of the battery backup, you can't actually turn the power off and on because the battery supplies the power to it. So that's what you can do. If you're finding um, a speed issue that you're not getting what you want, um, that's a great place to start. You do a reset out here on this box, and you do a reset on your Wi-Fi point inside and then you go back to that speedtest.net and you try the uh, speed test again you can also download an app it's ookla double o-k-l-a um, that'll be able to do the speed test then from your phone it might be a little bit quicker for you um, if you find it doesn't change the speed and you're still getting abysmal speeds then i'm sorry there's nothing you can do about it you will have to ring the isp and tell them you're having speed and connection issues and ask them to reset for you. That's not something you can do through a web page or an interface at this point. It's something you have to ring them for, which when I spoke to the ISP, he was like, I wish it was something customers could get out to because you know, currently people are ringing up, waiting 40, 50 minutes to get through, and then they do it for them. So uh, there you go. If you've got bad connection speeds, there is something you can do about it. The other thing is that uh, at least with Belong, who I am with, which is a Telstra subsidiary, um, I've got congestion issues here that it's not um, fast at night at all when everyone's on their free internet or their unlimited internet and doing downloads um, it's getting congested and if that's the case and they do a test which they can set up for you you will then be released from your contract uh, if you want to switch somewhere else but you can, if you're in a 12 month contract or anything like that you'll be released from it because they're not um, able to supply the promised speeds so there you go Good luck with those two tests.